As we head back to school this fall, checking your child's eyesight should also be on your to-do list. Doctors say the first eight years of life are critical because poor eyesight could lead to problems both academically and behaviorally. When it comes to eye issues in children, the sooner the problem is picked up, the better the chance of preserving good vision. If you have an issue, whether it's crossing of the eye, redness of the eye, blurriness in one eye, blurriness of both eyes, go get it checked out. Don't ignore it. Baylor College of Medicine ophthalmologist Dr. Christina Wang says kids and teens experiencing eye problems may act out in the classroom. Look for signs like holding a book or phone too close or far away, closing one eye to read, poor grades, difficulty seeing the board. Dr. Wang says often when parents have a history of vision problems, they may seek so-called quick fixes for their kids. Things like eye exercises or pencil exercises called pencil push-ups where you're looking at um, the, the pencil at different lengths um, or special vitamins or fruits or things like that. Nothing really has had substantial scientific evidence to support any of these things. Most optometrists say it's okay to introduce kids to soft contacts between 10 and 12 years old. Old, but Dr. Wang has a stern warning about hygiene. Washing your hands before um, touching your contact lenses, putting them in or out, never ever sleeping in contact lenses, no matter what it says on the box, um, and making sure that they're still receiving regular eye examinations. Also, don't forget about protective eyewear if your child plays sports. Dr. Wang says she sees a lot of eye trauma from paintball and, believe it or not, bungee cord injuries. Andy? President.